Hi Aries, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your August 2024 Tarot and Oracle card reading. This is a reading for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm so excited to get started today. We're going to kick things off with it and a message from the late, great Edgar Casey. You have here the purpose, this entity, this soul, as all others came into being is to be a companion with the creator. You are a co-creator with this universe. That's the purpose. Why are we here to make and grow and, and evolve? All right, let's consult the tarot and see what else you need to know. What guidance do you have for Aries, please? What does Aries need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Aries? All right, detailed Celtic cross style reading today, followed up by a couple of other oracle cards. Current situation, you have the star. I like that in any reading. The immediate influence is the Four of Wands. You've got the Two of Cups in your subconscious, the Two of Wands in the distant past, the Eight of Wands in the more recent past. The Lovers is coming towards you. You're represented by strength. You are attracting the King of Pentacles. You've got the Nine of Pentacles in your hopes and fears. And the Moon in the outcome, more will be revealed. Secrets and information come to the forefront. So we have, it appears, Four major arcana, is that correct? Or did I miss one? No, we've got four. We've got Leo, Pisces, Gemini, Aquarius. I'm just going to fix this a minute. I feel like we're a little crowded on the camera angle. My apologies on that. It just, my Virgo moon was just going nuts. The cards were too askew. You've got a great reading. And I do feel like, too, you, there's more going on than meets the eye. You've got something going on behind the scenes. Now, you have both the Seven and Eight of Cups punctuated by that Knight of Cups right in the center. It appears that we have water, fire, earth, and um, yeah, that's it. And there's no air other than, of course, the Aquarius energy that's here in Gemini. Um, but with this energy, I do feel like there's, again, there's more going on behind the scenes. There may be an... Um, a shift, I get like a shift at somebody's job that's going to bring in an opening for you. It's going to bring in an opportunity for you. And I feel like it's going to be up to you, but I feel like you're going to go for it. You've got money coming in here. Now, in terms of love, you've got a great little love story happening here. And for some, I feel like you have somebody here who has had their eye on you. Or they've either that or they've been single and they're, they've got a list of qualities and good for them. They know what they want. They're not just showing up here without any idea. They've got a list of qualities, and guess who makes the list? You. And so I feel like they're going to really be in that place of awe. That's what I get. They're in awe, in almost disbelief, but they are going to be all in. All right? This is someone who will be very romantic, too. And I do feel like with this energy, you've got a wedding here. You've got the arrows of love. You've got, of course, the matchmaker of the tarot. So again, I feel like there's more behind the scenes than perhaps you know. So know that the best is right around the corner. You're on that precipice of change, that turning point. And, and like the uh, Edgar Casey message said, we're here to create. We're here to mix it up with other beings and create and conquer and feel triumph and evolve. So I definitely feel like with this, you're going to have new opportunities showing up. And I feel like they're saying to release all the fear you know, not to allow your dreams to become distilled into fear where they just don't go anywhere. It really is about making your mark, taking action, making a move. Now, I love to see this. Now, you know, the moon comes right after the star. I don't know if you're aware of that. Um, and then comes the sun. But I like this quite a bit. When we start to see this kind of a lineup, it's like dreams come true. So the lovers and the moon are the immediate energies that you're going to be heading into. But that Aquarius energy, that star energy, sure does set the stage quite nicely. With the four of wands, it's victory, celebration. It's also telling you that your angels are talking to you. They're trying to say like, hey, you're on the right track. Let me just give you some evidence of it because our mind demands evidence. We are, I mean, almost like attorneys in building a case why something will or will not be working 
based on the indications that we get through our physical material plane. And so I definitely feel like you're going to start to see a lot of synchronicities popping in. Just too many things where you cannot chalk it up to that's just some random coincidence. So I feel like too with money, because you have both the nine and the king of pentacles, you're going to be flush. If it is a job situation, I feel like if there is a job change, it's going to offer a pay increase. It is not just a if you want to take over this account or that, I definitely feel like it brings in more money. So with this energy coming towards you, the four of wands and the star together, I mean, this is happy, joyous, free. It's a cause for celebration, kicking your heels together. It's also too being around the right people. You've got a perfect match here. Now the star also allows for some self-care. And so your influence here too, know that people will be bending over backwards, right? And the seems like help comes along just in the, the right time, right when you need it. And so, or right when it just is convenient. I don't even want to say it's need-based. I feel like it's right at the time when it feels the most convenient for you, if you do have something you need assistance with, but know that when you have this kind of energy, you're really going to be in flow where things, there seems to be no obstacles in front of you. It just seems to be an open, wide plane. Walk through those arches and make your mark. And so any changes that you're asking about, they're here. Now, in terms of a love relationship, you also, of course, have, we've talked about the energy of lovers, but you also have the two of cups in your subconscious. So the two of cups in the subconscious is a wonderful energy because it's what you're bringing in. It's what your subconscious believes you desire, deserve, and should have. And so the two of cups is a perfect match. So I definitely feel like whatever it is that you're asking about, you're bringing in that absolute perfect match. And it feels easy. Now, the energy of the star also reminds us to meditate. She's leaning on source energy for balance. It's an emotional energy, but you notice that she fixes her eye on the water that goes back into source. She's not so much worried about the material as she is about that source energy. So especially, too, if you got into a bit of a streak where things seem to kind of not go your way, Get back on that plane, whatever you need to listen to, to read, to do, do it so that you feel like, yeah, I'm conquering again. I'm on the right side of things energetically. And so the two of cups here, you have so many energies that indicate partners and pairs. When we look at the cards and it starts to show two people that are clearly connected, they're clearly working together. It's an indication of success and happiness and real joy. So this two of cups, again, is about a match. Now, if you are single, this may be your year, okay? Your year to remember for love. And so I do feel like you're going to get exactly what you need, even in the mundane level. You know, if you're trying to improve on something, you're trying to improve on your diet, your nutrition, your physical body, you'll meet the right person who will help you out with that. And I don't mean love interest. I mean like a trainer or a dietitian or something, if you're working towards some sort of a degree, you'll have somebody that says, hey, this certification is really in demand. And you might want to look at that because you're going to find if you have that, you'll be turning work away. Okay, I get that where you keep having the right people show up and give you guidance. And especially too, if there's something with housing, because you have the King of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles luxury cards showing up here. So you may find that you get in on a good deal with something too, where it's like, man, this isn't even on the market. They haven't even listed it, but why don't you call their person? That sort of a thing will be happening easily for you. So allow it to be so. Take the guidance, especially if you know it's somebody who has more experience than you do in a certain area. So this Two of Wands, you've set out for a quest here. The Two of Wands is the card of the visionary. It is about making your mark, though, and making gains. So if you did start something new, like some sort of a small business, I feel like you're going to have more ideas coming in that will help you make money. Okay, I heard hit pay dirt. And I believe that means an increase in money. So I don't usually use that phrase. So, um, But I do feel like with this two of wands, you're going to have new opportunities, yes, but you're also going to have creative ideas that will help you make money. So the eight of wands pushes everything forward. So brace for change. When you see this eight of wands, though, know that these wands are in perfect synchronicity and alignment. There are a group of eight archers standing on the ground 
well, not even simultaneously, they're shooting off their wands in the perfect alignment. Okay, when you see this, when, when there are any kind of symbol in the tarot that's like this, where it's just perfectly aligned and there's no crossing over, it's smooth sailing ahead. There's symbolism here. So what I do get for you with this is the changes are going to happen rapidly, but they're going to be easy. Anything that you need to adapt to, you're going to do it like it's second nature. There's just nothing here to slow you down. And in terms of a relationship, yeah, you better believe it moves fast. Why not? There's real love. And there's somebody here, too, that I feel like, like I said, that they've been manifesting you. They've been wanting an Aries. They've been wanting you. They might even say if they had a list that they picked an Aries as their sun sign. If they're into metaphysical things. Now, if they're not, I just feel like your characteristics sure do align. And I feel like, too, their heart will skip a beat for you. This is somebody, too, if you've been the more the dominant Aries in a situation, if it's a relationship or even a work situation where you feel like it'd be nice to have somebody who's an equal, somebody who can also pick up the slack so you're not doing everything. I mean, it's fun until it's exhausting to be the only person who can do anything, right? It's like it's nice when it goes your way and then it's like, God, I wish these people would help out. Well, finally, you finally have that extra help. So... The lovers represents a choice, but boy, is it a beautiful one. There's no downside here. So in a love relationship, I'm telling you, you got a perfect match. Allow it to come in, especially with that two of cups. I mean, it really doesn't get any better than this. And so with this energy, know that you're guided, protected. Now, if you are moving, um, this is the archangel that looks out for travelers. Or if even if you're going on some kind of a trip or something like that, I feel like you'll be able to navigate things easily and with a lot of finesse. You're represented by strength, so a being able to keep your wits about yourself, even if there are some small issues, you won't make them into anything bigger than they need to be. You're not going to make things blow up and become a problem, not in this energy. And so there's uh, fertilities represented here too. So if you are in the way of you've got a marriage here, a relationship if you are wondering about fertility you've got that as well but i would say with this it's also just those great ideas so do something capitalize on them so the card of strength this actually represents you in this energy and so you have here uh, a bit of uh, i mentioned before influence over others you have it here too where you're going to find, too, that you may have a tendency to have things go your way. I would still get that feeling of kind of a dominant energy off of you where, again, it's kind of fun until it feels like you're a one-person show. Um, so with this, I feel like it's about allowing people to, you may designate roles if it's something with a job or moving something financially related or even in a relationship, although it gets a little tricky when we start using words like designate right? It's like, oh man, I got to designate to this person. Um, but I do feel like with this, it's also about having compassion. And it's also about having compassion for yourself. You know, really looking at what do I want? What do I need? What would make my life feel more rich and full? And then going for it. This is a card of success. It's wonder. So with the King of Pentacles here, this is who you're attracting. This person, if it's if you're asking about love, this person is no schlump. I'm telling you what, this person will rise to the occasion and they can match your Aries Emperor energy. They don't shy away from it. In fact, they find it quite attractive. I feel like they chuckle at some of your foibles. They think it's kind of funny and cute. And I mean that in the nicest of ways. I mean, we all have them. I went through things that I had stored since 1996, and they were all perfectly organized. Of course, I mentioned the Virgo moon, so that might be part of it. It was very easy to throw things out, though, because I knew exactly what they were. I didn't even have to look. Um, but I do feel like it's like that, where somebody would laugh at that. It wouldn't weird them out. They wouldn't be like, God, what a lunatic. They've got stuff from 1996, and they still know what it is. You know, it's like it's funny. Okay, and I, I feel like, too, though, with this, it's wonderful in terms of money. This is definitely a symbol where you will be flush. You will not be worried about money at all. And I feel like you're going to get nice deals like we talked about on things where you're going to feel like, yeah, I got a great deal on that if you need to purchase something. With the Nine of Pentacles, again, she lives in luxury. So it's not about, you know, addressing or uh, adjusting your taste downward. It's not about you saying, well, I'm, I'll give up on the dream. It's about the dream meeting you where you're at. And so with the moon energy, there are gifts coming off of this moon. The yods or yods of the tarot following down into this energy. So everything comes from source. You have it with the star. You have it again here too. 
And so with this, it really is about you taking one step, the universe takes two, and shows up in your life, okay? This is where the things that you desire, you deeply desire, show up. In terms of relationship, I do feel like it might feel like it comes right out of nowhere. Like you say, I was just kind of being easy about things, and there they were. And so with this moon energy, you're going to be having changes come out, evolutions. It's a wonderful card that brings in that next dawn of the new day. So let's consult the fortune oracle here. Then we'll hear from the whispers of love. Oh, you've got the card of luck. I love this one. You are right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities ahead. So I'm telling you, you're going to be getting some breaks here. Notice them, revel in them when they do happen and say, man, those cards did not lie to me that day. And then this is from the Whispers of Love. You've got the card of be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show you care. Okay, so again, especially at those first encounters, showing that you do have some interest and reciprocate so the person knows they should uh, continue to proceed. Good things are on the way for you, Aries. I love you and I'll be back again soon.